And this is from the Daily Wire. It says fans of the Marvel of uh, the Marvel films are divided about a chemotherapy scene in the new hit film Thor: Love and Thunder, with some clamoring for a trigger warning and others deriding the protesters for their squeamishness. Uh, Thor: Love and Thunder premiered on July 8th. It features a scene in which actress Natalie Portman, who plays Thor's love interest, scientist Jane Foster, undergoes chemotherapy treatment for stage four cancer. Um, One fan wrote on social media, no spoilers, but Thor Love and Thunder should have a trigger warning for graphic depictions of cancer. And the fact that we didn't know going in is atrocious. The fan concluded, cancer is way too common of a trigger. And when they show it that graphically with that much imagery and dwelling on it and talking about it that much, you need to be warned, especially for a Marvel movie, which people go to for escapism and shouldn't have to read the comics. Um, So I guess you got cancer in the comics and that's why they have, I don't know. And then there are other fans chiming in saying, this is terrible. Uh, People have PTSD from it. Look, this is actually interesting because on one hand, I, I, you know what? I sort of agree. I I sort of agree with the the criticism that it's gratuitous in a way to put a cancer storyline into the middle of one of these dumb movies, into the middle of Thor. You know, it's, it is, it is a little bit actually gratuitous. Um, and the reason is that these aren't real movies. They're just toy commercials and brand awareness campaigns. And in that context, cancer seems like a kind of inappropriate subject matter and sort of exploitative. Now, I don't think there should be a trigger warning because I just disagree in principle with trigger warnings. But it is a cheap and kind of easy way to create an emotional moment without doing the work, as the left likes to say. You haven't done the work. So it's lazy. You don't have to... Uh, do you know? Write a good script. You don't have to make people emotionally invested in the scene. You don't have to worry about good acting. All you have to do is just have a character with cancer, and and that's good enough. It's kind of like using a, a Nazi as your bad guy, which I think these Marvel movies also do quite a bit. Because if you do that, it's easy. You don't have to actually convince the audience through good writing and good acting to hate the bad guy. He's a Nazi. He's got all that baggage with him. All the work is done. Just slap a, a you know, slap a, um, you know, a Nazi symbol on him, and you're good to go. You know, given recent SCOTUS wins, it feels like the pendulum may be swinging back to a time when the nuclear family was situated at the center of American life, where real conversation, learning, and growth began at home with your family gathered around the dinner table. In President Ronald Reagan's farewell address, he said, all great change in America begins around the dinner table. He couldn't have been more right about that. Bring your family to the dinner table with Good Ranchers. Good Ranchers cares deeply about providing families with high quality meat at a reasonable price. Their mission is to bring people to the table, making those shared moments with your loved ones easy, accessible, and delicious. Good Ranchers ships 100% American meat, born, raised, and harvested in the U.S., right to your door. Plus, when you subscribe, your price is locked in for the for the life of the subscription. You don't have to worry about inflation or anything there. So you have that stability as well. Good Ranchers not only supports American agriculture, they're also big fans of The Daily Wire. They sponsor all of our shows, and uh, that's all the more reason to support them. So make sure you check them out. Use my code MATT for $30 off plus free shipping on your order. Take advantage of this offer today. You don't want to miss it. Invest in time. Share it with your family. You're going to buy meat anyway. We all are going to buy meat unless you're one of those weird vegetarians, make sure you buy great meat from folks who support all that we do here. Go to goodranchers.com slash Matt to start bringing people back to the table and eating seriously delicious food at the same time. And if you've already bought from Good Ranchers, show me what you're making. Post a photo of your meal and uh, tag me and my friends at Good Ranchers so that they can see it too. On one hand, I agree. On the other hand, trigger warnings as a concept are incredibly stupid. Um, So it just goes to show though that Martin Scorsese was correct when he said that Marvel movies aren't cinema, they're more like theme parks. And in cinema, you know, the audience would never be upset or offended because something happened they didn't expect. Like you, that's what you want. If you actually are a film fan and you want to go watch a movie, if you want to partake in the art of cinema and and witness it, then you don't want to know every beat ahead of time. You want things to happen that you don't expect. That's why you're there. That's part of the magic of cinema. But superhero fans, um, that's not what they're in it for. They want the same thing over and over again. Uh, Very much like children. They just want the same thing over and over again. They don't want anything surprising, anything different. They just want a theme park ride where you see the track ahead of time and you've been on it before 
and you know where all the dips and dives and everything are going to be. So I guess in that way, it's like an actual theme park ride. If they tried to, you know, if you were on a theme park, right, if there was a, a, a cancer theme park ride, we would all agree that's highly inappropriate. So in a way, I can actually see where they're coming from. This was my attempt to sympathize with Marvel while at the same time consulting, which is the only way I can do it. Well, I hope you enjoyed that clip from the Matt Wall Show. If you did, be sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel and click the notification button to get more content like this. If you want to watch or listen to the full show, head to dailywire.com and subscribe today. You can also listen to my podcast on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you get your podcasts.